Let's open the trade control panel, select good till cancel, and a size of one. Now let's cover the special order types of OCO, brackets, and trailing stops down here at the bottom of the panel. OCO stands for one cancels the other order and does exactly what it says. You place an order and if it is filled, then the other order is canceled. To place a buy OC order, let's select it and in the live market window, let's left click below current price to set a limit buy order. Note the dotted line. Now we need to go above current price, hold down the shift key and left click to set a buy stop order. Note both orders are placed. Let's cancel all orders and set a sell OCO order by right clicking above current price, then holding the shift key down and right clicking below current price. Suppose I entered the market without a protective stop loss or take profit. Then using OCO is an excellent tool to set those orders later. Let's cancel all orders and select brackets. Note that now I need to input a take profit and a stop loss amount in ticks. It is the same for stocks and cryptocurrencies. So for stocks, if you want a stop loss of $1, then you would input 100. Now let's left click below current price and set a limit by order. However, we don't see the bracketed orders until the order is filled. So let's drag it up to current price. Once filled, we see the stop loss and take profit orders are now placed in the market. Let's flatten the position. If you'd like to attach a trailing stop to your stop loss order, then you need to do so before you enter your bracketed order. So let's select brackets and trailing stop and we'll input a value of 1 for the trailing stop. This means your stop order will begin trailing after price has gone in your favor by one tick.